All right, well, we'll see if I can go a little bit further. Um, so also I'd like to get into, you know, all the doctors and uh, all the local politicians, all the efforts and time and the stress they're under and that they, you know, the effort they're making. Um, shout out to every one of them. Uh, wow, you know, like the difficulties you're facing. Frontline workers, of which I was one when I was doing the truck driving. Um, shout out to all the frontline workers, all the grocery people, it's my old industry. I, I had 16 years of over 80 say on. I was up to assistant manager with them when I was young. Um, I know what it, I know what they're going through right now. I mean, it's great. They're probably all getting maximum hours that they want. That part's great. But, uh, you know, if any of them are getting sick or passing it on back at home, then obviously that's terrible and awful. And, and believe me, they'll be feeling awful. You know, they're trying to make a living, but they obviously don't want to um, make their families, extended families, sick. Um, so, yeah, so I just keep saying, you know, keeping what, uh, what's... Uh, the Bonnie Henry always says, you know, you know, be kind. It's a wonderful statement. It's so true. Like, let's not overdo it. You know, um, uh, the fine idea I don't agree with. Like, oh, I'll just find them. That'll fix it. You're finding some of these people that are re revolting against us are, are don't have anything. They're already lost their jobs. They're already frustrated. It's part of their their way of acting out when they're frustrated. So walking up to them and slapping them with a fine on top of everything else is. It's stupid. It's not a good idea. And it'll just cause a, a ramp up at the other end. And you look at down in the States and, you know, they have huge ramp ups and resistance to um, common sense things that they should be doing. Um, and, and I guess this will help me to step into the other country there. Uh, America's going to be doing their election next week or the week after. It'll be, well, it won't be finalized. It'll be two or three weeks after. However, Trump will try to. It's, obviously from what he's been doing and you know, with the, the courts uh, and you know getting his own person in there so he has a six to three majority on that he's going to try to do some nasty quick things and that is on the day the voters going are going to be mostly his that's how he wants it that's how he's talked to them and for whatever reason they'll be able to vote easily they'll make sure they have enough booths open for them unlike they're you're making it so hard for areas that aren't that they know they're probably not going to win so they're making it ridiculously hard for lots of people and lots of um different races and that to, to, to vote in areas that they they have the majority of people so his will get through the votes and then he's going to try to have it declared within a day or two i won i won and all i won and, you know, he might be up in some of these areas and help him to get close to winning until the votes are counted that are being mailed in and all these ones that he's trying to not be allowed to be counted and to be cast aside because he's going to lose by millions. Like, there's the popular vote, you know, even Hillary won that, but the way they're set up, it's a bad situation. It's, um, it's the way you can skew who's in power. And... That's why he's put that person in, in the courts, is if he throws it to the courts really quick and says, oh, you know, it's anarchy, we need to um, just declare, declare me the winner and get on with this. And uh, that's what he's going to be trying. And that's uh, going to cause what's well, already, they're already having so many problems with different groups getting together. Down the, down the states yesterday, there, I think it was yesterday, they, you know, there was two groups, they both brought their guns, and they're both, you know, doing their rallies close together, and they've all got, like, you know, rifles and basically like they're like a submachine gun, like they're repetitive quick fire type stocks on these things. It's it's like, holy shit, because that's America. You're allowed to carry a gun. <laughs> that's your right. <laughs> yeah. So um, I, I think we're in for a real, well, I hope we're not. I, I hope I hope that they're so far behind that they just let it go. And it kind of looks there's, not, there's a good chance that's what's going to happen except for the fact of this voting that's legal, but the voting and counting not getting done for a week, two weeks, three weeks after. And in that time, you know he's going to be ramping it up the whole time because he's going to know the more those votes come in, the more chance he's going to lose different states and therefore um, different, what was it called, college votes? or no. However their voting system is where they get so many votes for states once they've won the state. And, uh, you know, that's what got him in last time. So um, I hope for their sake that, you know, uh, it doesn't go the way it looks like it's going to go. If it does go the way it's going to go, we're going to have effects from it, just like we do with our border. I mean, they're the worst country in the world right now for, um, for the disease spreading and for deaths from the disease. 
and uh, so of course we have to keep our borders closed but they are our neighbor and they are our way to you know traveling and and a lot of us holiday down there a lot of us do business down there it's also you know the, the way you get basically cross their land to get to say South America Mexico um, yeah it's it's a mess um, tourism for here they have so many of Americans are our, obviously our major tourists so we can't really let them come in because they're not they're not healthy <laughs> they're the worst they're the worst ones to let in so um, there we go we're gonna have um, well, 2020 has been an impossible year. I can't believe all the things that have happened this year. And uh, so this this going to happen in, you know, October, November, and December until they figure it all out. And then I think the actual changeover isn't until January or something. So even then, he's going to try to do the courts and get, you know, get things held up in courts or get things passed for him in his favor in courts. It's going to be such a mess. And to the other party, Biden, you seem like a nice man, and you were a good, uh, um, you know, a good uh, vice president. You probably could have been a good president years ago. I, I do actually think that you're not, you know, the right guy. I, it's funny the other one would have been Bernie, but maybe the lady that you've given um, the vice presidency to, if, if she, if you win, uh, uh, Connelly Rice, um, she's, you know, the type of person you, you, your party needs to get a little bit younger and maybe more diverse. But definitely younger and healthier and more um, current to to the world uh, as it is today. Um, and that's same with Trump. I mean, Trump's got some real old school ideas that uh, you know he would have been maybe you know maybe he would have had a right to run in and do a decent job in the '60s and '70s. I don't know. I don't think so because he doesn't seem like he's very bright. But his um, his view on the world and what he thinks the world is and so how he'd like to see it run is. It's more for those times. It's more my father's time when he was, you know, dad and I was a kid growing up in the 60s and 70s and, you know, his beliefs about, you know, the wife home and the uh, food on the table when he gets there, otherwise he's upset. That was my dad. Mom had to have, you know, he was a shift worker, so mom had to have it at her do two different times. She had to have it right and ready for him or else he got grumpy because, you know, it was the era of Archie Bunker. Uh, although Archie Bunker was supposed to be a spoof on that kind of personality everyone took uh carol i think it's his name I forget the rest of his name they took him uh, you know literally which i don't think was meant although he did do a good job of doing it so see maybe it came really easy to him for other reasons that i'm not aware of because i don't know the person personally um okay so crazy world coming up crazy politics coming up i've done a bunch of these now and i'll load some up uh, Danny Gamble, uh, October 28th, four videos banged off, and I uh, wish you all well and hope that you're doing well and that uh, you all get through this and your families and everyone as well as, as, as well as well. <laughs> all right, take care. Bye.